Hey, good morning everybody. This is Tim with Seven Acres Homestead. Uh, just coming today, we've, we've got another little project that I need to get started on. Uh, we have some new animals coming to the farm. So once again, building more pens or a structure of some kind to uh, uh, house them. So today, I'm just going to get started on building just a simple 16 foot by 16 foot square pen. Uh, just so that we have something when, when our uh, new ones arrive. So uh, I'll let Dawn tell you what that is a little bit later. septic tank earlier we couldn't figure out what was going on and we went and checked the breakers outside here that goes to that and for some reason they had flipped off so we flipped it back on and now this water from our septic system is spraying all around us and it stinks so bad so if you'll see us fall out in the middle of the video you're gonna know why So, we are on our way to Tractor Supply because the pen we're building, we were going to build it 16 by 16. And we kind of started looking at it and deciding that that is not enough space for the animals that we're bringing in. So, we're going to go ahead and pick up a couple more cattle panels so that we can do a 16 by 32. Hey guys, you remember this pen 
we were working on. We finally got the last of it put back up. Couldn't really film it because honestly it was raining when we finished the pen and put the house in here for them. And uh, I don't want to take a chance on my camera getting ruined in the rain. So I wasn't able to finish filming that part. But this is the pen that we put together here. It's uh, 32 feet by 16 feet. So we used six cattle panels and about a dozen or so T posts to put this in. This is one of the houses like we put in the pig pens. And it works out really well because it's very thick plastic and it keeps the rain out. It keeps the warmth in when they're in there laying in that hay and, and all that good stuff. And if you guys are wondering what it is that we were building this new pen for, let me introduce you. Hi guys, what y'all doing? What's up? This beautiful little pale girl who is a tricolor is Willow. She is a proven mama that uh, has had twins every time she's had babies. This dude here, his name is Oreo for obvious reasons. And uh, he is also fully grown. These are Nigerian dwarf goats. So this is as big as they'll ever get. Dude, be nice to her. This is as big as they'll ever get. They both have the ice blue eyes, which is what I really wanted. And we're really hoping for baby goats before too long because I wanna see what all I can do with the goat's milk. And of course we love babies here on the farm. So these are our newest. Hey guys, is that yummy? Hmm, is that good stuff? So they are able to be fed the all stock. Um, however, we give them lots and lots of hay because they need more roughage than anything. Um, you don't wanna give goats too many of the grain pellets because it's not good for them. Um, so they get a cup each uh, in the mornings and then again in the evenings and um, they seem to be thriving so far and they love the little house over there when it gets cold at night which it has the last few nights it's gotten down in the 30s um, which is pretty cold for us here in East Texas it is for me anyway in my old arthritic joints um, but they seem to be doing really really well it took the dogs a few days to get used to them living right next door to them over here because um, here's the dog pen right here with Karuk and Jim in it and uh, Jim especially did not love the goats moving in next door he was like how dare you bring this riffraff into our neighborhood but now they've pretty much gotten used to it we still have a little bit of work to do on this pen right here where this corner is bungeed uh, we actually are going to come in and put in a gate and we ordered some gate hardware that actually goes on a t-post that'll be our first time to use that and so i'll be real interested to see how well that works and we'll do a video on it when we do it guys so we can show it to you and uh, when we do we'll put a link to it um, in the description box so that uh, if it's something that works out really well you guys will be able to find it without having to search. It took us a while to find it because we weren't really sure what they were called. So um, we will make sure that you guys get a link to that in that video if you decide you want to use it. So, okay, new babies. We'll see y'all later. Tell everybody bye. And ask them to please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> bye, y'all.